Canada just had an election, and hopefully it will be the last of its kind. Justin Trudeau and his incoming Liberals have made a lot of promises, and one of them is a more representative voting system. Currently under a majority first-past-the-post system, a minority of voters get to speak for all Canadians. Here's what the results on election day look like. And here's how the seats ended up. The results right now don't really represent the way the voters felt on election day. Liberals got almost 15% more seats than they deserved. Conservatives got 3% less, and the NDP only got two-thirds of what they should have gotten, while the Greens ended up with basically nothing, even though they got the votes of over 600,000 Canadians. The real problem is that even though most Canadians didn't vote for the Liberals, the Liberals realistically have 100% of the power. All of these problems arise from a very outdated way of voting. Canada inherited this winner-takes-all system thanks to our colonial past with England, much like the United States, India, and others. Unfortunately, this system introduces all the problems that we now deal with, like strategic voting, where voters choose the party they think will win rather than the one they really want, gerrymandering where manipulating riding boundaries can easily change who wins, an increasingly extreme two-party system, wasted votes, the spoiler effect, and unrepresented minorities. It doesn't have to be this way. Most of the world's governments already have better solutions by using various types of proportional systems. Australia and New Zealand, who were former colonies themselves, have already implemented proportional systems of their own, and have ditched the old one that we still use after all this time. These proportional systems ensure that the elected body reflect every voter's ballot. If a party gets 20% of the vote, the party approximately gets that much power in the new government. There are many systems to choose from, whether it be ranked pairs, a mixed member proportional representation method, or the widely lauded single transferable vote. Whatever we go with, we need to craft a new Canadian system that is easy to use so everyone can vote and feel represented, gives power to the voters to choose the representatives until they feel heard, and lastly is fair, ensuring the elected government reflect all Canadians' views and interests. At the very least, we need to get away from the idea of parties winning elections and move on to a system where everyone wins and has fair representation. After all, every citizen who votes deserves a government that will listen. What voting system do you like best? Simple but unrepresentative plurality? MMP with party lists or top-up seats? Or an STV system that favors smaller or larger parties? Check out the links in the doobly-doo to find out more about different systems. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching!